Hello, grade eight. See, I'm Mr. Gomez, Mr. G, and in this video we are going to be talking about diffusion. In the last one, we spoke about the kinetic molecular theory. We uh, saw the different uh, points, important points there on that theory. We are going to be talking about diffusion, and diffusion is a important definition that you are going to be doing in grade eight. So let's begin by saying what the uh, diffusion is. Now. Diffusion is a process in which particles in liquid and gases, this is going to be happening in liquids and gases. We are particles in liquid and gases. They are going to move from a highly concentrated area to an area with lower concentration. So the particles are going to move from a high concentrated area to an area with lower concentration. The definition is a little bit abstract, so let's try to have a picture and understand what is actually happening during diffusion, okay? So let's begin by having a picture of a room. Let's imagine we have a room. Any room, could be the classroom, could be your bedroom, could be any room. Now, what do we have inside the room? We have air. So the particle of air are spread in, inside that room in such a way that they are more or less the same concentration all around the room. For example, we can represent the particle of air in this way. We have a room and we have particle of air which is more or less well distributed around the whole room in a, a that such a way. Now, let's say we are now going to spray perfume or deodorant or anything that has a smell in one side of the room. So, if we have the perfume, let's say this a black little thing here represent the spray, the perfume. Now, what is going to happen? All these particles of perfume will come out of the bottle. And we have this area, this region here, that I'm going to mark. This region here, that have high concentration of perfume particles. This is high concentration of perfume particles. This side here is what we call the highly concentrated area. Remember, the highly concentrated area for the perfume particles. Now, what is going to happen? This area here is going to be the low concentra uh, concentrated area. Lower concentrated area. All this side here uh, towards this end here, I'm going to delete all that now, all this area is going to be the uh, lower concentrated area. There are not particles there of perfume yet. However, remember when we learn the um, kinetic molecular theory that the particles are moving. So all these particles of perfume are going to move in um, that direction that have low concentration. They are going to move. All those particles are going to move there. So those particles are going to move from this area of higher, uh, higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. And eventually, what is going to be happening here? The perfume particles will be a little bit more spread. And uh, after a, a time pass, all the particles of perfume will be distributed evenly in the whole room. Like this now picture. You can see that the perfume particles are well distributed around the whole room. This is what we call diffusion. is the motion of particles from an area of highly concentrated. Remember the area of highly concentrated was this side here near the spray and it moved towards the area of lower concentration. Eventually, the particles are going to be um, well distributed along with the um, air particles. Now, why is this one happen? Well, first of all, because the particles are moving. This is a proof, or a proof that particles are moving. And secondly, because there is a space between the particles. So the particles of perfume could, take, could move through the space of the particles of air. So this is diffusion. I hope you understand. Uh, I'll do my best next time probably to do an experiment and show you and um, we'll see what we can do about that because I don't have a studio um, to make videos. So if we can do the video or the experiment, we'll do so. Otherwise, we'll keep on explaining using pictures. But I hope you understand it's not difficult. Uh, thank you for watching 
thumb up if you like it and um, good luck.